यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एबस्ट सीरीज सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ कैन आई रिप्लेस अ वैल्यू विद द वैल्यू ऑफ वन कॉलम और अदर कॉलम बेस्ड ऑन द कंडीशन ऑफ अदर कॉलम समथिंग लाइक दैट आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रू ट्राई सो बेसिकली लेट्स टेक अप अ केस लेट्स जम्प ऑन द पावर बी आई सो लेट मी ब्रिंग इन सम डेटा सो वट आई गोइंग टू डू फ्रॉम द पाइव ऑट डेटा शीट एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी कॉमन शीट विच आई यूज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन दी माई गेट हब अकाउंट यू कैन टेक इट इन and in this one if you remember we do have a sheet which is known as fill and in the past we have used this one as you know uh, to fill up and fill down so let me click on the fill data check box is checked and then i click on transform data so once i do that transform data i'll directly reach to the power query now in the power query which i wanted to know is basically i want a conditional replacement now whenever the physics value is not there i first want to give the maths value if the maths value is not available then i want to give the chemistry value it could be as long if the chemistry value is not available then use computers then use english or then use some value so how do i do that so basically it's a conditional replacement or even the replacement at the time of replacement you say if the student is from the uh, you know class 9 then do that kind of action so how can we use you know if or some condition when we replace it so typically how do we replace we right click on this and we say uh, replace value now this is null value so interestingly for null you have to simply give you n u l l okay now if you want to give single quote uh, string null then this will not happen after the you do this null replacement you go ahead and manually change it to uh, the double quotes null basically the string null so how what i want to replace let's say 80 so i want to replace null with 80 it's very easy isn't it it will add a step replace the null value with 80 now this is done but we don't want this isn't it what we want we want it to replace with maths if maths is not null and if maths is null then i want to replace it with maths is also null then i want to replace it with chemistry so then how do i do so what we are going to do here here instead of 80 let's first of all you know see in the table dot replace what it does it say so in the table dot replace what it saying value as replacer dot replace value that's the function it is showing let's see what does this function shows let's press escape let's open this code advanced editor let's write down comma let's write down a step name underscore and let's bring in this table dot replace value so once we bring in it says table old value as any new value as any replacer function see column to search as a list okay so we can give multiple column to search means if we want to replace the multiple columns then we can do replacement on the multiple columns that's also possible okay so now we know what need to be done so we are now into the code part on the advanced editor and how we came here right click advanced editor now in this place of 80 what i wanted to do i want to change this little bit so what i'm going to write down each and each is what uh, you know can process this value uh, you know for each and every row each if what my my column name maths if maths and if you don't remember just scroll it little bit down you should be able to see and this should be same okay make sure this is same if not equals to null It, that's the beauty here we can use n u l l small as null then maths fine else see chemistry okay so what we are saying if e each if maths not equal to null then maths else chemistry isn't it so we said done Now what's happening here? If you remember, the first one was null, and it went to this one ninety. So let's look at the previous step. These first three values are null basically. So the first value it replaced with maths because maths was not equal to null. Now maths is equal to null; it's replaced with chemistry. 
Now again, mass is null. It's replaced with chemistry. Now other values are available there. So now what happens is this column's value is getting replaced with the, uh, you know, uh, with the mass value or the chemistry value. Now similar way you could have you know more conditions like you know uh, you want to in some case you want to give average in other case you want to give something like that. So those type of things you can actually also go ahead and do. Or I say if the name is A, then you know give this one or that the kind of conditions you can play around and give it. So this is basically going to become conditional replacement or based on other column you want to do the replacement. So you can go ahead and try that out. So go ahead and try that out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.